Guys on the inside getting the work done for the offense. The offensive linemen. And time now for best in the biz. And Warren's going to count down his top offensive linemen as he covers his eyes. But uh, Sean Phillips is back with us. But before we get to your top list, who are the offensive linemen who gave you the most uh, Problems. There were two offensive linemen I put on the face of every guy I ever faced in this league, and that's Larry Allen and that's Randall McDaniel. Those were the two measuring sticks when I got in this league, and Chris Hinton, too, because he grabbed me and shot me one time when I was a rookie that really wasn't fast. So <laughs> I, I, me and O'Lyman don't get along, but I do got a list, though. I right. do got a list, and I started off with number five. Let's roll it. From Tennessee, Michael Roos. And I know my man Steve Weiss like him. Very nasty he player nasty. right there. He's nasty. He, he's one of those guys that goes after you for four quarters, to the echo, echo, echo of the whistle. So you got to be careful around Mr. Roos because he just loves contact. I mean, he really likes it. And being on the left side, you got to be a monster because you're going to be on that island all day long, just you and the end. So Donald Penn, this is my favorite right here. Old Buck got his mouth quiet. I went down and saw the big fella. And boy, can he block out the sun. I mean, he just can go. A young boy. Too. Young boy. And I like him when he's young and feisty and don't know no better. That's just what it is. That's just what the big fella is. And Bill Murray, get him right. Steve Hutchinson, the best guard in the game. I'll give you that. This guy right here, block, run, whatever you want to do, pull, trap, whatever it is, he's got it for you. This is the ultimate guard in the game. Right behind those two I talked about that actually made the position what it is, and this one here can go all day long. One of the couple more encounters. <laughs> then I go right next to him, Brian McKinney from the U. Oh, you got to be kidding me. This fella here might be the biggest agile dude that you'll find. I mean, it looks like he doesn't move, but when he gets going, oh my goodness, it's just, it's frightening. It's frightening. Run, block, pass, block, anything. They got to take care of Adrian Peterson. And my guy, Florida State, I can't believe this. <laughs> Walter Jones. Still, uh, huh? Well, well, it's, it's, uh, see, when you're an old, hungry guy like me, you got to take a, a, a season bet like this. You know what I'm saying? That, that's football right there for me. Walter Jones, old Florida State, just get it done. I mean, it ain't going to look pretty. Just get it done. Look at it. Just that's get it done. Football. All right, uh, so there are Warren's top five offensive linemen in the game. Bruce, Penn, Hutchinson, McKinney, and at the top, big fella, Walter Jones. And, and it's tough for offensive linemen, too, because we're putting all those guys into one pool. So we're not bringing it down position by position. Right. So to get down to five, that's hard. That's tough. I mean, you don't have centers. You don't have too many guards in there. But centers gonna... don't do nothing but chip on people. Yeah. They, you know, oh, they, 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 they dirty. We don't do centers. Oh, okay. is, is, is Jamie Dukes listening out there? Here, hey, but here's one thing I want to say. The list is good, especially you know I like Michael Ruth. But Joe listen? Thomas? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Jordan the Gross? I, 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 you know what? I do like Joe Thomas up there in Cleveland. He does do a wonderful job, and he's nasty with it, too. I, I've given him – stand back and go a little bit, too. He was an old Cincinnati Bengals. I can name a bunch of them, but I just can't do it. I can't. <laughs> I can't. That's this the sad is part. detrimental to my health. That's the sad part. What about the cool points right now? And what about some other guys? Two guys on the New York Giants who I think are really Chris Snee and Sean O'Hara, too. They can get after. There's just not I enough spot. Five uh, linemen is tough. Can the Chargers get some players? Well, Sean, on there? Who, what you say, who you want to get some dap to? Um, Chris Dillman, our guard, is a pretty solid player. I mean, he's oh yeah, I like Dill. Dill fights. Goes to the whistle every play. Uh, I like the big fella, Long in uh, Miami. He works hard down there. You know, yeah. he, he blocks out the sun, play. like yeah. you said. Mm -hmm. uh, Kimu Itu, the guard from Pittsburgh, he gets after it. He's oh no, nice no, guy. no Pittsburgh line. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not going there. We're not going there. No way. <laughs> You're gonna take a Cleveland Brown lineman, but you ain't gonna take a Pittsburgh. Rob Thomas. They, I mean, is he on the schedule though, this he, year for you? It don't matter. Ooh, I like it. I like guys, it. Look, Jordan Gross, he just got paid all that paper from Carolina. No, no, let's not do that. The money does not dictate look, who can look, play Okay, in this okay, game. let's not take money. What about Carolina's rushing game? Carolina's rushing game starts inside with the three inside. You can't say the left tackle makes your offensive line yeah, but go. Jordan Gross played all up and down that um, offensive line. Yeah, Jordan Gross can play every position, but right now he plays what? Well, he plays left tackle. Yeah, watch watch, watch it, Daniel Williams is running around. Right, right handed, okay, right handed, right tackle. Okay, I got that's all right. Well, the best in the biz. It's been getting some attention out there in Twitter Nation. People have been chiming in.